American media, Kathleen Sabinus took the decision to resign herself, and President Obama accepted that resignation earlier this week. Uh, now, as you mentioned, she really was the public face of the Affordable Care Act, which of course had a very problematic launch when the healthcare.gov website faced major computer glitches in October. Uh, and there have been major criticisms levelled uh, at that rollout by Republicans who, of course, have been really against this law from the outset. Now, we understand from these uh, uh, reports in American media that Sylvia Matthews Burwell, who's currently the Director of the Office of Management and Budget, is uh, going to be nominated to replace her as uh, Health and Human Services Secretary by President Obama. And as you say, Beth, the rollout of this so-called Obamacare has been problematic, although the president has said that the program is here to stay, quote unquote. But do we know for sure that this resignation uh, of the health secretary is actually linked to that rollout and the problems associated with it? Well, as I say, according to American media reports, it was her uh, it was her decision to resign. But I think certainly she has really been the public face of all those problems. Uh, and President Obama certainly was under pressure to replace her uh, over the last few months. And I think really the Obama administration is trying to draw a line after the botched uh, launch of the Affordable Care Act. Um, uh, we saw just last week uh, the deadline for people to sign up for health care uh, health um, insurance was reached and actually uh, the number of people who signed up surpassed expectations. So that was seen as something of a victory for the Obama administration. I think really they're trying to draw a line under this um, ahead of the midterm elections where, of course, uh, this law is going to be an extremely uh, controversial issue.